Assalamualaikum brothers and sisters, I'm Sister B and welcome to Islamic Audio Bites and another lesson from 30 Lessons for Those Who Fast by Ayyad Abdullah al karni which can be downloaded from galamullah.com. Let's read. Page 30. Lesson 6. Ramadan, the month of standing up at night. O thou enwrapped one, keep awake in prayer at night, all but a small part, of half thereof, or make it a little less than that, or add to it at will, and during that time, Recite the Qur'an calmly and distinctly, with thy mind attuned to its meaning. Qur'an 73 verse 1 to 3 This is what Almighty Allah said to his Prophet, peace be upon him, and, naturally, the noble messenger complied with the command of his Lord by standing long hours at night, crying profusely in all humiliation. In the same manner, Allah ordered his beloved Prophet, peace be upon him, and rise from thy sleep, and pray during the part of the night as well, as a free offering from thee, and thy sustainer may well raise thee to a glorious station in the life to come. Quran 17 verse 79 Accordingly, in the same manner that you are standing at night in this world will be glorious and honoured, so too will it be on the day of judgment. Ramadan is the month of fasting and standing at night. The sweetest nights and most precious hours are when the fasting people stand in the darkness of night. I said to the night, Is there a secret in your depth, filled with conversation and unknown matters? It said, I never throughout my life encountered finer words than the words of my beloved in the early hours of the morning. The nights of the fasting people are short because they are delightful. On the other extreme, the nights of the frivolous are long because they are unhealthy. The short ones are thus accompanied by extended concerns, while the long ones contain momentary pleasures. Allah Almighty describes his righteous servants thus. They would lie asleep during but a small part of the night. Quran 15 verse 17 And in the hours of early dawn, they were found praying for forgiveness. Quran 51 verse 18 And those who pray for forgiveness in the early hours of the morning. Quran 3 verse 17 The sound of weeping used to be heard from the Prophet's companions, migrants, Muhajirun, and helpers, and sars, whenever the darkness of night descended upon them. And when the day broke, they would become like bold and fearless lions. In other words, they were like monks at night, but when they met their enemies at day, they were the bravest of the brave. The homes of the companions were, in fact, schools for training and the learning of how to recite the Qur'an. They became institutes of faith. Today, the homes of many people have become barracks for music, vice, and refuges of perversion. May Allah save us from such evils. When we lost the standing in prayer at night, our hearts became hard, our tears dried up, and our faith became weak. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Whoever stands the nights of Ramadan in faith and consciousness, all the sins which he sent forth will be forgiven. Among the things that help one to stand at night in prayer is the calling to mind of the momentous day when people will stand before the Lord of the worlds, the day when the graves will turn out their contents and all that were buried in bosoms will be revealed. There are, besides other factors that help in standing at night, they include remembrance of the great reward and forgiveness of sins and wrongdoing. The righteous predecessors preoccupied themselves with standing at night. Among them were those who spent the nights bowing prostrating themselves or standing before Allah. Among them were those who recited crying, who contemplated and hoped, and who were thankful and considerate. For why have you made your homes desolate places without any standing and praying at night? Why have you made it empty of Quranic recitations? 
Why have our homes complained because of the lack of prayers in them at night? If night set in, the hearts of the negligent sleep, and the spirits of the playful die, while the hearts of the believers come to life with wide awakened and fearful eyes. How can one who remembers the repose of the grave, the gathering of mankind, and the decisive manifestation ever sleep? Surely no one ever expected that a generation of Muslims would spend their nights shamelessly in playing chess and listening to music. The Prophet peace be upon him said, O servant of Allah, do not be like such and such person. He used to stand in prayer at nights, and then he abandoned this practice. That was the end of this lesson. Please do join us for the next lesson tomorrow, inshallah. And also share the podcast with your family and friends. We're on all the major podcasting platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon Music, and we're also on YouTube as a voice-only channel. Do check out our social media on Facebook, Instagram, etc., as well as our website at islamicaudiobytes.com. If you'd like to contact us directly, please do so at sisterb007 at gmail.com. Hope our days are full of goodness. Assalamu alaikum.